Hi there, Loy Macedo. Speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who's Loy Macedo and Think Personal Branding? The date is 28 June 2018. Time right now is 1238. Uh, I was uh, kind of speaking to this young man. Uh, not actually young, but he's younger than me. And uh, he asked me the question that uh, how to talk to women. <laughs> so I was like, Okay, uh, so I asked him, do you have a mother? He said, yes. I asked him, do you have a sister? He said, I have three. I said, do you have cousin sisters? He said, I have many. I said, do you have grandmothers, aunts? He said, yes, I have many. He says, how do you talk to them? He said, no, 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 but that is different. But I said, those are also women, right? He said, yeah, those are women, but you know, you know, they are. I said, that is where I responded to him and I told him, those are women also. The reason why you don't feel anything is because you don't have any, you know, any thoughts in your head. Like for example, when we see porno, when you see sex movies, we look at the girl's breast and wow, wow. If we look at the girl's vagina, wow, it's dripping, it's this, it's that. Have you ever thought about it that it's just a, just a body part? In fact, if you see a dead body, why you don't feel turned on with it? If you see your mother just lying down naked there or she's dead, do you feel turned on? You don't feel turned on. If you see uh, an old grandmother, maybe 106, and you see her naked lying down, do you say, oh, what a vagina, oh, I wish I could. No, you don't think anything. It's all in the head, it's all in the head. If you don't get turned on looking at your sister, your mother, uh, a dead body, an old lady, if you don't get turned on by that, that means it's all in your head. Now, that's the first thing. The second thing is, you know, it's it's all the games that our mind plays. Like for example, when people see a vagina, even when I saw I used to see a vagina photograph, or when I used to see a porno movie, oh, pussy, wow. And we used to share it with our friends. And, wow, look, 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 you can see a vagina, oh, wow. You can see a pussy, wow, it's so fucking hot. We would, you know, our small little penises would get hard. But as you know, you grow older, you realize this vagina is an open wound. That's what I call it, an open wound in the body. It's an opening, it's a wound that is open because inside that is, you know, the insides of the, you know, the vagina, the ovaries, then you go further. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like opening a stomach and seeing parts of the intestine and all that. You don't look at an intestine and say, oh, intestine, oh, feel like licking it, and oh, the liver, oh, the kidney, wow. Oh. No, it's a body part. It's an opening in a person's body anatomy. And that's about it. It's just that we associate it with, ooh. Like, if you ask a gynecologist, what do you think about, uh, you get to see so many pussies and every day, he'll say, boss, I look at it every day, I get sick and tired of it. I was spoken to gynecologists and as young as I asked him, don't you feel like wow looking? He's saying, man, you're looking at vaginas that are sick, infected with fungus, virus, bacteria, with uh, you know, green and yellow smelly stuff, smelling like, uh, you know, rotten cheese oozing out of them. You don't get turned on. And I was like, Ugh. and you know, that is where you realize it's all in the fucking head, man. It's all in the head. If you have a daughter, do you look at her naked with the same body and say, oh, no, it's all in the head. So coming to the fact, how can you talk to a girl? Number one is identify the person as a human being, as a mother, a sister, as a human being. When you identify the person as a human being and talk to a person like you normally talk, let's say you meet a guy, hey, how are you, man? If you talk to a girl and they say, hey, how are you, man? Or, hey, how are you? Like a normal person, you can talk. If you have intentions, oh, maybe I'm going to take her to bed. Maybe she like me. Maybe we can have sex. That's where you start getting fucking nervous and paranoid. But if you talk to a human being like you normally talk to, like a guy talks to a hundred guys, hey, hi, man. Hey, hi, how are you? What's the time? Hey, you talk to them like that. You can talk to any girl. And this is something I learned 
as I grew up that if I identify a person as my sister, mother, or a normal human being, just a normal human being, you can talk to anyone. I speak to so many girls online. Uh, some of them come with sexy looking, uh, you know, some of them purposely show their cleavage. Some of them purposely try to flaunt. And they say, hi, babes, how are you? I talk to them normal. I don't go, wow, oh, breasts. In fact, I even tell the girl, like, hmm, that's a nice pair of uh, breasts you have there, which is proudly put for display. And they're like, oh, <laughs> thanks. You know, it's... So, how do you talk to a woman? You talk to a woman when you remove stuff from your head. You talk to a woman when you identify them as your mother, your brother, your sister, or another human being. When you look at them as a human being, there's no big deal. And if your head is clean, your character is mature, you can talk to anyone. But obviously, if you're born and raised in a troubled family or conservative family or reserved family, or your upbringing is not to the mark, you'll feel, oh, girl, oh, this and that, and depending on the society you come from. So start identifying people as just human beings. Talk to a girl as you talk to a boy, normal. Hi, how are you? Maybe in some cases, the girls, maybe the upbringing is kind of retarded. Like, for example, if you were to talk to girls in Afghanistan or in the village or in the village of India or Pakistan or some Islamic country where the values are very reserved, where they're not allowed to talk to the members of the opposite, so maybe it's a big deal. But if you talk to normal, normal people, it's just normal. So these are my thoughts on how to talk to a woman or a member of the opposite sex. Uh, that's what I told that young man. And I'm pretty sure he agreed with what I had to say. So put your comments down below. I always read them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, give it a thumbs down. This is Loy from LoyMesita.com. Who's Loy Mesita? Thank you for some writing, signing off for now.